I need to have to shut this down and go get a little coffee. Maybe my, if my, let's see if this works. My dear wife, Joy, if you're listening right now, would you please bring me a cup of coffee? I love you. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so we'll soon, soon find out if Joy's watching. Oh, here she is. Um, just talking to 4,000 people. They all wanted to say hello. And hey, she brought buddy. me vegan -o. All buddy, right. Joy's got about? a little bit of a cold. We're talking about Trump, but then they're asking me all kinds of other questions. Like, can anyone dance like Trump? There was that. The, this. <laughs> <laughs> um, people wanted to ask you about veiling. Do you have anything you want to say about veiling? Um... I think it's a, strictly speaking, if you want to be following scripture, um, you want to feel deferential to the Lord, um, I think it's a really good pious practice. I don't think there's anything proud or haughty about it. Like some people say, oh, those ladies that veil. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I've never felt like that. I don't think that's the point. Yeah. And I don't think women do feel like that. I think that, um, I think that in fact you feel more like humbling yourself before God. So, I yeah, think that's, and like you said, it's biblical. And it's biblical. It's in the Bible. Uh, yeah. Hey, Mrs. Taylor, that's your new name, Mrs. <laughs> Taylor. Uh, Mrs. Marshall, what are your tips um, and tricks for maintaining a healthy, happy, holy household? I struggle with one toddler. How does it work with a large family? Um, I think you really just have to make a routine for your family. Make a pace that you keep up that keeps y'all moving and going and productive. And, you know, even if it's just wake up, make your coffee, breakfast, clean up breakfast. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be exciting. And then, you know, get out of the get out of the house to do your errands at a certain time. Just just make a schedule that everyone is in a flow that works for y'all that where you're getting what you need to get done. And um, don't stress about things that you shouldn't stress about. Yep. Good. And don't tell the don't let the world tell you what you have to be doing in your home to be a good mother. Like how many sports your kids should be involved in and how many extra, you know, play dates you should be doing. I mean just everything that adds to you, not what don't let other people tell you what you need to be doing. So that's what I would say is the best young mom advice. Yep. And, you know, there's different seasons. Like a toddler or a baby is different than a teenager because teenagers are really much more harder than a baby. <laughs> well, they are. But then also, like, but you have actually no personal space with the, a toddler or baby. Like right. they need you. They're all over you all the time at, you know, whenever, so it can feel hard to make schedules, yeah. but you know, so you have to be a little bit more go with the flow, mm -hmm. but give uh, us a prayer right now. can you give us a prayer right now for today's election? There seems to be so much anxiety. Yeah. Let's do a prayer. Yeah. In the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy ghost. Mighty God, we pray for America and we pray that your will would be done. Not our will, but your will. And we ask that you would take away all anxiety and give us the peace that only Jesus can give us. We pray in his name. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay. Yeah, people were asking what we do for school. This um, is our first year to homeschool almost everybody. Yep. Um, and we just didn't want to be back and forth with schooling. We do a classical curriculum in general, and our kids have always gone to classical schools. Yeah, I think it includes, it's a really beautiful curriculum because it always includes scripture and wholesome mm -hmm. uh, virtue talks and things like that, and yeah. poetry and things. Our youngest is five. Mm -hmm. Hi, Paul, doing math in, at home. <laughs> um, you're in the, a bunch of people are in the middle of math class. It's fun. Yeah, everybody's doing that math. Mm-hmm. You need to do math. How um, do you how do you count to two hundred and seventy? We need to learn how to do today. Yeah, yeah. We should. Who can add up the electoral college fastest? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they're not coming. Well, I better go. Okay. Are y'all good? Yep, we're good. Bye. Don't be distressed. Daddy. Hey, we're talking about President come Trump. Come me, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Come say hi. hi. Well, here comes Elizabeth. Look at your hair. 
<laughs> you want to come over here, Elizabeth? Talk into this microphone right here. Hi. Are y'all doing homeschool? Yeah. Okay. What are you learning? Math. Math. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, Mom was just bringing me some coffee. Okay. Are y'all in favor of President Trump? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's going to win, Margaret? President Trump. <coughs> Who would you vote for? President Trump. I love you gals. Have a good homeschool. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye. That's that's MAGA. That is making America great again. That's why we do all of this. Mm -hmm.